All right, a little update here. Move-in date is supposed to be about two weeks from now, but the house is finished. And so I've been talking to Jana and I think we're gonna try to pull off a little surprise. Ben is working today, but I didn't have anything going on and I'm like, well, the house is finished. So I think it would be an awesome surprise if we went ahead and packed everything up and moved over to the house. And then he just like shows up over there and like we're moved in. So I think that might be a really fun and funny thing to do. My family has several box trucks. We'll see if they have any that are not full of junk and that still run and drive. And then they can bring that over and can load up all the beds and everything. I was just over at the new house, taking a few things over in a van load, but I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna start packing up everything. I really hope we can pull this off. Ben's working for about three or four more hours. So I don't know if that'll be long enough. We'll see. Spurge, Ivy, y'all think you can help? Henry, you think you can help? We're gonna go pack up all of our stuff. So I'm gonna tape up some boxes and y'all are gonna have to put everything into it, like all your toys and all your clothes and everything. I think he'll be super surprised. And he'll like it. I think he'll be fun. What do you think about that, Henry? Yay! <laughs> we have got the dream team here. My dad, Jana, some of the little girls. Not so little anymore. We're getting it done. Packing it up. I thought I was minimalist, but when you start pulling the stuff out of the cabinet, you're like, good grief, I need to get rid of more stuff. It's very bittersweet. Wow, the echo in here. It's just unreal. It's so sad. I'm excited for the next season, but it is a little bit sad. I tend to get really sentimental at moments like this. I mean, this we've lived here for like seven years in this house. We've brought home all four of our babies to this house. This is home. I've already had a few cry sessions over this place, just thinking about leaving and all the sweet memories we've made here. And oh, like I know it's the next right step to move on and have more space for our family but at the same time you just think of all the fun times all the memories you know if these walls could talk these past seven years here have just been so special it's a tiny little house just about a thousand square feet and so some days we felt like we were kind of on top of each other and Definitely needed a little more elbow space, but for the most part, it really did feel like it fit our needs quite well, and it had a big backyard, so that made a huge difference. Um, when the weather was nice, the kids were outside in the backyard a ton. Um, definitely on rainy days or super cold days, we felt a little more confined. But it's been such a wonderful uh, home, yeah. and we're so thankful uh, to have had this as our first yeah. starter home for the first seven, almost eight years of our marriage. There's this little wall plaque that we had hanging on the wall in this house that says, love grows best in little houses with fewer walls to separate, where you eat and sleep so close together you can't help but communicate. And if we had more space between us, think of all we'd miss. And that really just sums it up. We've loved our little house. And though we're excited for the new house, I have a feeling we're gonna miss this. All right, we're arriving here. Ben still has no clue. He's still um, working and he has not been here yet. I've got a car load of plants. Bringing them in. They've been taking loads over, load after load. Got that mailbox on there. Oh, wow. Yeesh. It is looking like a tornado hit. Always looks worse before it looks better. I'm gonna get to work on this front, see if I can't get some of this cleaned up and put away. Box truck has arrived. Oh, 
Having a little pizza party. Nana brought the dominoes. They're getting it all done. Yeah. No, it's a chicken uh, Santa. Jana just installed this faucet last night because we didn't have one. And then we got half the privacy fence up on that side over there, but already somebody cracked down a section of the fence and you can see it over there. Literally just like ripped the boards off and kicked them in or something. So that's no good, we'll have to get that fixed. We cannot figure out a place to put our little freezer. We don't have a garage because the garage was converted into our master bedroom, but I will be finding another spot for that. I will not leave it there. And back here, this is still a mess. I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do in here. But this is not gonna stay here. This desk is not gonna stay here. Just kind of rough idea of what we're gonna do here. I've still gotta hang a shelf up above there. The dresser's there. And then here's the laundry room, which this has been like literally one of the things I've been most excited about. It's still a mess. It's still in the works here, but we have shoe shelves here for every person. We've got mine and Ben's clothes up here, kids clothes down here, just for ease of sorting and putting everything away. Towels back here. And then we've got drawers down here with Socks and underwear for each person, underwear PJs and pants for the boys. I've had this mapped out in my mind for months now, so it's easy to just drop it all in its place and we're ready to roll. Okay. Things are going well unpacking here. It's like four o'clock and a crazy turn of events. Ben just called me on the phone and was like, hey babe, I was wondering if I could bring a friend to dinner tonight. And I was like, um, sure, that'd be great. He's like, should we eat like earlier, like 5.30 or maybe later around seven? I was like, maybe maybe around seven would be better. Uh, yeah, maybe when you get home, we can talk about it. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm totally chill. I don't care if we're unpacking. We are gonna have to eat anyway. So bring your friend, it'll be wonderful. Um, you can help us unpack. It's just cracking me up because he literally has no clue what's going on. He's about to show up at the old house and there's gonna be like hardly anything there. <laughs> oh, this is fabulous. We were definitely high-fiving ourselves. It was awesome. The reaction was priceless and everything that I thought it would be and more. Okay, time for an instant replay. First of all, let's take a second to appreciate Ivy's artwork all over the door. Now watch. As his face turns from shock, where's all my stuff, to hey, I didn't have to lift a finger and we're all moved in. This is great. He could not believe that we pulled off this surprise in just a matter of about four to five hours. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed myself. I didn't know we had it in us. Y'all. Uh-huh, yeah. What? <laughs> like. I haven't got the backyard stuff yet, but yeah. Just thought she'd surprise you and see if it worked. Yeah, I was like, where's our van? What <laughs> yeah, they're all over at the uh, new house. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's all yes, out, pretty much. Ready to move. Uh -huh. Once we were completely moved, I had to come back over to the old homestead and say farewell. We're leaving a few things here, like our couches, because we got new longer couches. We got a new dresser that's bigger and doubles also as a changing table. So we'll be passing on our old dresser and changing table. Also leaving our piano because we were given another one. 
And we're also leaving our dining table behind because we're already at max capacity with six people in our family and it only has six seats. So we're getting a bigger one built that's gonna be eight feet long with a leaf that can extend to 10 feet. We've been in the new house here for about three days and unpacking is going well. We are nearly settled in and it already feels like home. It's so special. We're already making lots of family memories together and I cannot wait to show you the final house tour. Thanks for following along on this journey and be sure to stay tuned for more updates coming soon.